I want you to cast your memory back a ways and remember a little town in Washington state called Seattle. Now, it used to be the case that the worst thing that was apt to happen to you in Seattle was that some hippie wasting away from the disease of veganism might stop you in the Whole Foods parking lot and ask if you wanted to contribute money to help raise awareness for the plight of LGBTQI++ emotional support dogs or something equally confabulatory and goofy. Now, these days, though, Seattle could most properly be described by Obi-Wan Kenobi, who once threw shade on an otherwise sunny little town on Tatooine by saying, you will never find a more wretched hive of scum and villainy. In short, folks are getting shot at left and right in parts of Seattle ever since the woke mob got a hold of the police department and hamstrung them in favor of the political whims. Now, as a result, Amazon, 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 like the biggest company on the planet, they've announced recently that they're going to re be relocating their workers from its downtown Seattle office in order to keep them safe. That's right. About 1,800 employees are in such mortal danger, they can no longer safely work downtown. Now, the good news is if you've got to, you've got to have a company do this, they got to do this sort of thing, Amazon's the one you want to go with, right? I have no doubt that even as we speak, local employees are being taped into cardboard boxes, hopefully with some air holes punched in at the top and just shipping them wherever. That way they, they walk through the valley of the shadow of death. Amazon will deliver them next day from evil. And I guess the last person to tape someone else into a box, well, <laughs> that poor bastard's got to stay behind and guard the fort. Folks, this is silly. But it's also not silly at all. Listen, the violent crime statistics in the city of Seattle and in cities all over the country, uh, they've been spiking ever since the Derek Chauvin, you, you know, pulled the Colin Kaepernick on George Floyd's neck. And if you think that reference was old, it's not. Things in the news cycle just move that quickly. Seattle Mayor uh, Bruce Harrell's office put out a statement about this, which I think actually sums up the problem more than it sums up the solution. They said, "Will it? while it will take time to reverse long-standing safety issues, Mayor Harrell's early efforts are critical first steps to address crime and improve safety through dedicated SPD officers, a mobile SPD precinct, and additional environmental changes. Environmental changes. Mayor Harrell will continue to develop a comprehensive approach to public safety in collaboration with police and safety advocates, community members, service providers, and businesses, including Amazon, to activate, revitalize, and restore downtown for all. That was their statement. Or, and I know this might sound crazy, you could just stop after the SBD part and actually get tough on crime instead of just trying to solve murder, murderous violence with a pillow fight. Now, this notion that we need to incorporate a whole bunch of other social worker types into fighting crime isn't entirely without merit in some areas. But come the hell on, folks. What's a safety advocate? I mean, what do we got? OSHA inspectors out there trying to stop bullets? Actually, on second thought, that might not be a bad idea. Sort of kill two birds with one stone, if you know what I mean. Listen, Seattle, clean up your damn streets. Get your people back to starving to death on the steady diet of tofu and not getting shot in, you know, out in the avenue. If you enjoyed this video, hit like and subscribe to our channel so you'll be sure to see similar videos from Blaze TV with the added bonus of signaling YouTube that your voice and opinion still matters. And if you're looking for more great conservative content, check out one of the two videos suggested here.